Okay, so hi there, Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, um, I was not able to <laughs> do your reading last month. I do apologize for that. It's been a really crazy month for me. It's been very busy. I had a lot of bookings and... Um, yeah, I would really appreciate you guys uh, for your patience and all that, but I did, um, I'm going to be doing your reading first before the other signs. So, um, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading. Uh, first and foremost, I do apologize ahead of time. We're in, I will, I will not be able to show you guys the spreads which I always do in my reading, so you'll have to bear with me in my face right now. Uh, please, but please do rest assured that I do have your readings here on my table. Um, so, um, yeah, again, this reading goes for all of you guys who are in the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, and you will have to use your own intuition um, as you tune in with me. And, um, yeah. We are going to be taking a look on the energies and influences that could be surrounding you in your life right now for the month of June 2021, and especially in terms of your relationships. So, um, your reading is quite interesting, and I kind of feel that you are at the point of your life wherein you are asking for some form of sign. There is something in your life wherein something has been put on hold or something that has been put to a stop but for some reason um i, I do not see you uh having let go of it just yet it's like you know there is a point of your life wherein something has been put on hold something that has been put to a stop but for some reason you cannot really put yourself to a point wherein you are completely set in your heart to leave a situation or you are not completely set in your heart to actually enter a situation. Um, so I kind of feel that there is a more of a decision making that is surrounding your life and your energy right now. There's something that you are very, very much undecided on. It's like being stuck on a situation wherein you don't know whether you should push or pull, whether you should stop, move forward, or go backward. However, um, it's quite interesting because it shows here that in your recent past, you are, you know, it feels as if that you have been very sure of your own decisions, you had a lot of fun, but for some reason, you are at the point of your life right now wherein you, you suddenly feel stuck. And like you, you cannot even make a, a certain choice in your life during this period of time. And I truly feel though that uh, there's something that you are that has been holding, holding you or holding you back, I would say. And because we are in a retrograde uh, season, I don't know if it's, if it's the retrograde or because there's really something in your past. I just really feel that there is something that you are not completely ready to move away from. There is something in your life or in you're not willing to to leave just yet. And you you are ha you're having a lot of thoughts right now, a lot, a lot of thoughts in your head and a lot of unexpected uh, things in your life has been happening and I also kind of feel that you are at the state of a being wherein, you know, you're having a lot of internal conflict. You know, a lot of things in your heart right now has been on a struggle. Like maybe there is a, a, a little small devil here and a little small little angel here wherein it's telling you what to do. Go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and leave that person behind. You know, you're having a lot of little thoughts and little messages that is surrounding you. And... And for some of you guys, maybe this is about you being single or you being alone or feeling lonely, wanting to be with a person that has filled your heart with so much joy and laughter. And uh, 
this is also a situation wherein you are taking a look on things on another angle. You're seeing a situation on a different mindset, on, on a different plane and state of being. And for some of you guys, um, this is eventually going to make you start to start a new venture, to begin something, to to bring something in basically and to move forward with certain things and uh, the interesting part here is that i really do not know if this is about you wanting to to do something that you have been hesitating on or if this is about you choosing to enter a situation and move forward with it or choosing to leave behind a situation and get done with it or maybe to go back to your past or move forward to the future all i know is is that there's something that is making you feel stuck there's something that's making you feel um paralyzed i would say there's something that you are something is really not ready i kind of feel that um for many of you you are in front of a crossroads right now and you will have to make a decision to to talk to someone i would say to to open your heart or to to make an effort on something i feel and to change the situation that you have that is really the biggest thing here there is some form of situation in your life that you need to change and for many of you i kind of feel that you have been thinking about someone particular very very strongly you keep thinking about this woman maybe uh again this is, could be something that's happening to you personally or maybe the other person is thinking about uh, this situation um towards you maybe they have been thinking about you and m maybe they have been in a situation wherein they are thinking of making an effort to be with you so you are at a state of situation wherein something is about to change in your life maybe your love life is about to change all those kinds of things and sadly enough for 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 some of you i kind of feel that there is some form of depression that's going on as well some form of sadness in terms of your love life there's something that is you know you want to give the past a chance and but i kind of feel that there's a lot of complications that's going on in terms of your love life making you um have a hard time to actually make a decision however truth be told you really need to make a decision and this could be the month wherein you will have to to make that choice to to finally step your uh, step forward into the situation uh this is really more of a point wherein if you have been thinking about someone non-stop you might as well take action and do something to begin something you know maybe waiting and being passive about it is not going to to change your situation anymore so uh, there there is a lot of things you know there are hesitations in your life right now and this is not about you ignoring those hesitations i kind of feel that some form of nudge is knocking on your door your intuition your higher self is telling you something and it wants you to stop not doing anything basically you are at the point of your life wherein you need to do something and you need to stop being stubborn and not doing anything so some form of decisions and efforts needs to happen um and maybe this is about you going back to the past and i kind of feel that your past has a bigger story into this uh whole scenario and um an opportunity can really happen here there is a small window that is about to happen in your life and you know you are having this energy wherein there is a, an opportunity for you to move past a difficult situation in your life and instead of just thinking about it instead of just praying about it this is about you to take action and i know we are in the middle of retrograde and a lot of astrologers and people will tell you to not do anything it's just in your head however you are a mutable sign pisces and um, you are highly expected in astrology basically and i kind of feel that you will be pushed by the heavens by the universe to take action 
and to communicate what you feel. And if there's any form of un unsettling emotion that is surrounding you right now, there is something that you cannot forget, that you cannot um, move away from, you know, you cannot escape them. Basically, uh, you are going to have to reach out and talk to them, deal with them. And to finally, you know, give yourself some form of peace, I would say. Because you have been having a lot of inner struggle recently. It's like you're trying to find an answer. But for some reason, even if life gives you an answer, you still choose to not do anything. You need to have some form of, um, uh, I would say, acknowledgement in within yourself that you need to do something about it especially if you're a man and you are you, there is a woman that you cannot forget you will need to take action on that on another aspect this can also be a situation wherein it's calling you to trust your own intuition maybe there is something that's foggy in your head something that you need to do that you need to uh make it all happen but you're you're you are in a field of hesitation and you are choosing to not do it basically but um i really feel that communication is going to be a big factor for some of you guys it could be even a move or travel might be um happening here you know maybe you have been feeling for the longest time that you are stuck in one place and at one period of time and this is going to be a period of time wherein you might be wanting to go back to a certain place that you you were in before and it is going to be a wonderful place and a place that made you really really happy and filled you with so much joy and i kind of feel that for many many pisces though there's a lot of un unhappiness that's going on with you and feeling dull feeling that there's no life <laughs> you know feeling stuck i kind of feel that for many of you you are in a situation wherein on the surface you might seem happy or what others think about you other people think that you're happy even though you are not so this is going to be about you maybe this is not the right thing to do you know maybe you are very much bothered on what is the right thing to do what you should do in the first place however your heart might be calling you to take action on something that might go against your morality so maybe for some of you you are tempted to do something that is a little bit on the bad side maybe you are going to reach out someone that you should never talk to and um i'm not here to tell you to not do it in fact uh, in this reading <laughs> I'm I want to urge you to do that to do to do just that I kind of feel that it's going to give you some form of answers some form of revelations and most importantly it's going to set your heart with so much ease you know you will feel better this way by following your heart by doing things that really make sense to you especially if you have been trying to hold yourself back this is going to be a period of time we're in you will need to express what you feel and you know take what is yours without any form of holding back or any of those kind of things so it's going to be a period of huge clarity for a lot of pisces people there there's a lot of confusion in your life and maybe you know there are things in your life that you have been hiding for such a long period of time and this is going to be a time wherein you will need to face your fears you will need to face the things that you you close your eyes on you need to open your eyes on this you need to confront this and if there's a past situation that you've tried to run away from this is going to be a period of time that you will have to face it and find answers you know give your heart some peace of mind as well so um yeah this is going to be a very interesting month for a lot of pisces people i kind of feel this is going to open doors for you and hopefully lead you a path to a path wherein it makes you feel good about yourself and the 
and the decision that you make all at the same time. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys. Thank you guys for waiting on this reading, for watching and tuning in with me. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, please do don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So like, share and comment down below if you resonate with the reading or just to update me if it actually occurs for you or not. Um, I'll be interested to know about that. And if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, indestellarsbykrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.